Hello again. In the series on books about um, World War II, uh, special operations and resistance, um, the importance of the SOE to the resistance movements in all the occupied territories, not just um, Europe, but all over the world, um, was um, a real kind of um, lamplight uh, in, in times of um, the terrible occupation by the Nazis. And um, they, they quite often, the, those countries paid a, a horrific price for resistance activity. For example, uh, with occupation, uh, Operation Anthropoid, the assassination of Reinhard Heydrich in Czechoslovakia by two uh, Czechoslovakian agents from SOE. Um, the retribution by the Nazis was terrible. You know, they wiped out an entire village of Lidice. And um, it, similar things happened in other places. Um, so the SOE really um the pe people who uh, supported it were were truly heroic uh in many ways and we, we've um, looked at um the activities of the norwegian uh agents who went in to rukan and um attacked the heavy water facility uh the norse hydro um which, which is the textbook special force operation uh, and I think I did mention that, uh, you know, we visited the Resistance Museum in Oslo and it was very impressive and um, very humbling to see. Well, well the chaps, um, are, are the combatives guys in Oslo, had sent me a, a copy of a book written by a guy who is an absolute legend over there uh, from World War II. And it's this book. Report from 24 by Gunnar Sunstaby. And um, this, this book, um, which is autographed to me by Gunnar, um, is, is an invaluable, it's one of my most treasured gifts, and I, I keep it in my safe. Uh, When we visited the Resistance Museum, um, we tried to uh, meet uh, Gunnar Sonstaby, but he, he wasn't in Oslo at the time. But apparently he, he was very open to meeting people and very accessible. And um, it's certainly a meeting that, that I, I, I really um, do regret that I didn't have the opportunity to meet such. such. He's the most decorated um, Norwegian um, soldier from World War Two. So, uh, at the at the big when Norwegian uh, Norway was attacked, uh, Gunnar was uh, in a ski battalion, and they tried to fight, and of course they were overwhelmed by what was a blitzkrieg operation. So he um, started working with um, resistance newspapers, and um, and then later became a courier between Oslo and Stockholm. Stockholm in neutral Sweden was the pipeline. And um, there was a, a Norwegian um, a, um, office in, in Oslo, unofficially, in uh, Stockholm unofficially. And he, he did that for quite a while. And um, they put him in touch with SOE and he started um, be, uh, compiling reports back in Oslo and he, he was, uh, his, his number was 24, hence the title of the book. And then um, he was captured by the Gestapo, manages to escape and uh, gets back to Stockholm and is flown to England. Uh, and um, he undergoes training by the SOE in sabotage, uh, where he joins Company Linga, which is the SOE, the Norwegian SOE unit set up by Martin Linga. And then um, he agrees to be parachuted back into Norway and 
to continue the war and he becomes the leader of what became known as the Oslo Gang who were very, very active. The, the organisation, their, their particular resistance organisation was called Milord. And um, another prominent member was a chap called Max Manus. And the, the, <coughs> excuse me, there was a movie made about him um, not long ago, in it, which is an English version of a terrific film. He wrote a book as well. And his story is, is another almost incredible tale. <clears throat> and what the Oslo gang did is they did quite a bit of ship attacks um, in the harbour on their German shipping. And they also carried out assassinations of um, high-ranking officials and traitors. And um, it's all in the book. It's an amazing tale uh, under uh, very um, fraught circumstances because, as I think I mentioned in one of the other reviews, in all the occupied countries, there was an element of people who were sympathetic to the Nazis. And uh, in Norway, um, th this was certainly the case. And um, so they had to really be wary um, of, of uh, not just the, uh, the Germans, but of Norwegian traitors. So uh, at the end of the war in liberation, he was one of the guys who was him and Max Manus were tasked to protect the crown prince upon his return to Norway for the liberation parade. And um, he, he was honored uh, numerous times since then. Uh, uh, it's a book I, I, I really uh, enjoyed, <clears throat> but uh, the word um, awesome is, is overused now. Uh, we use it for everything. But uh, Gunnar Sensleby, uh, his contribution to the resistance was awesome. And uh, within the annals of SOE, you have people like Yo Thomas, uh, Noah Iniat Khan, uh, Viola Zabo, um, and certainly Gunnar Sensleby. And... Uh, you can get hold, it's in English, the book, and uh, I certainly do recommend uh, that you read it. It's a very, very important part of the history. And um, the friendship that has been built up between uh, Great Britain and uh, Norway ever since, and uh, as you probably know, uh, they send over a massive Christmas tree every year and it goes up in Trafalgar Square uh, just to continue that memory.